Welcome back to Mr. Isaac's Game Design and Digital Storytelling class. Um, this morning, we're going to be uh, taking a look at using the fill command to build large structures. And we're also going to look at hollowing them out with uh, air, which you'll understand shortly. But that'll uh, actually incorporate a little math into this activity. So what I have here is a grid that I always use, whether it be on scrap paper or something, to show where I want to start based on my coordinates, where I want to kind of end or the fill area. You'll see that in a minute. And then which part we want to fill with air. So I'm going to go back to Minecraft Education Edition here. I'm going to make it day. OK, here I am in the nice rain. And we are going to pick a spot. Let's say I want to start here. Now, in Minecraft Education Edition, one of the neat things you can do is under your settings, you can have it show your coordinates, OK? So I heard somebody mention something about coordinates before. Coordinates tell us where we are in the world, OK, using the X, Y, and Z planes, OK? So the X, think of like east, west, le or left to right. The Y is up and down, OK? Or the, and the Z is kind of north and south or forward and back, OK? So basically, what we want to determine for where we're going to fill this area is we want to choose uh, an area where we're going to start. So let's say I want to start building right where I am here. So what are the coordinates where I am here? What's my x coordinate? Yell it out. OK, what's my y coordinate? And my z? OK, so remember those. Somebody's got to remember the x. Somebody's got to remember the y. Somebody's got to remember the z. Ready? So that was um, 334.67.9. Now I'm actually going to make this one 66 because I'm standing at 67. But if I'm going to build a large structure, I want the floor to actually be flush to the ground. So if I make the floor part 66, and then I open up this building, which you'll see in a minute, I can walk straight in. Otherwise, I would need steps to get in. OK, so now what we need to look at is um, where we want to kind of go to. So we have a few ways we could do this. We could either move and decide where it is we want to go. Now, let's say I wanted to go here, but I don't want it to be just one level layer. Like I want the building to be, let's say, you know, about 20 high or whatnot, right? So I can find these coordinates of where I want to fill it to. OK, and what are these? What's the x now? Good, the y and the z. OK, remember that? Uh, what was that? 320 what? Uh-oh, let's see. 326. OK, and then what? 84. OK, and then 16. OK, I, so I could do that. Let's say instead of that, I knew I wanted this building to be 20 by 20 by 20. If I was going to do that, I would change instead of my 334 to 326, what might I change that to? If I want it to be 20 across or 20 for the x. 314 I could do, yep. And how about for my height to be 20? Well, 46 or 86. Interesting thing is if I did 46, where would my building go? Right. I'm like on a mountain, so it would go underground. Not to say there's anything wrong with putting it there. That's fine. And then what would I do for my Z? What's that? 29. Okay, I'm actually going to change the way this looks. It's going to be start, fill, and I actually don't need these for what I'm trying to show you. I'll make this the air, start, um, end, or fill. OK? Now, and I might not even need that much. Um, so anyway, so we've got our, let's fill this area, OK? So I'm going to go back down. And now I'm going to use this nifty command called fill. Whenever you want to use a command in Minecraft, if I hit T, it opens up this uh, text chat area, which is where I could also type commands. You got that? So I'm going to type slash fill. 
Now I just basically have to type in all these coordinates. So we've got the start is 334, 66, 9. And I'm filling 2, 314. And I don't even really have to look because I could just add here, right? 86, 29. And what do we want to fill it with? Notice how now it starts to show up all of the different blocks and things that I could use. So what do we want to use? I, I'm kind of a fan of terracotta. Why don't we go with some black glazed terracotta? Notice how once I started typing, it only shows what it can still fill. So I could actually just hit tab here now and it'll fill that in. So ready? Somebody say abracadabra. abracadabra. Boom. Okay, now I'm stuck in my building that I just built. Uh-oh, where am I? Help. Should be, <laughs> one of these areas should be able to get me just out. Help. Oh, you know what? Uh, this is funny. The reason it's doing this is because I was no longer standing where I was starting. So I'm standing probably right in the middle of this. So I'm stuck in my terracotta building. So I can teleport to my first spot there, let's say, or let's say I'm even smarter about it, and I say 335, 67, and 9 is probably fine. And now I'm outside of it, right? But that is one solid structure, okay? Now, I did not have to build it block by block, which was kind of nice, right? However, like I said... It is solid, okay? Now we want it to be hollow, so it's like a building, right? So now we have to think for a moment about this next part. And yeah, so this, we wanna now fill the inside of this with air. So, all right, so our X goes from 314 or 334 to 314. Look here for a second, right? Okay, so we want to come in one on each side so that we keep the walls there, but everything on the inside is going to be air. We want to do the same thing with our Y, right? Come in one so that we have our ceiling and our floor. Does that make sense? And then with our Z, we want to do the same thing. You get the idea kind of? We want to fill the inside of this whole thing with air, but keep the, the outside there. You get that? Some of you. <laughs> so if we're thinking that way, what would I change my X coordinates to so I keep both walls intact but go inside by one? 333 and what? No, no, no. Let's look at the, the X. Let's stay with the X for a minute. Oops, I messed that up. 333 and what? Three what? All right, people often say that. What will happen if I use 13? I'm going outside of it, right? So I'm going to actually blow out that wall because I'm filling that wall with air. So what should that be? Oops, what? 315. Okay, how about my Ys? 60, uh, what's going to happen if I do 65? 67, 85. All right, we're getting the hang of it. And for my Z? Beautiful. All right, now in theory, that should work. I can't tell you how many times, even though it looks right even to me, I do it and then we're missing a wall. So we're going to try that. Remember, and actually, you know, here's a little trick too. If I hit the up arrow now, it brings me to what I had before, right? So now I'm going to want to fill with air. Now I could also look at it here, and if my mind works well enough this way, I could think 334 and 314, so I could change it like we just talked about to what now? 15, right? And then how about here? And here? All right. And then here? And here? Good. And what am I filling it with? Air. Air. All right. Somebody else say abracadabra? And here we go. So now, look at my beautiful inside. Now, of course, what do I need now? Torches. torches. All right. All right, I'm going to put some torches in here. And then I'm going to have a beautiful 
whatever color terracotta this is. Black glazed terracotta, is that what it was? Pretty nifty, huh? And I'm flying around because I'm in creative so I can fly. And I want you to be able to see our masterpiece here. Okay, nifty. So of course you can now break through and decide to put some windows in here or something. I would definitely want to have a door. And there's much more you'll probably do to this building. But in this case, oh, look at this too. So remember I said that I wanted to, to be flush. Well, it was flush on some parts, but here it's like a, oops. I'm hitting him with my torch. Okay, but here it's like, it wasn't really flush because it probably started flush over there. Now it's almost like a, if it were a walkout basement over there or something. So I could put some stairs here. And let's see what we get. Whoops. All right, isn't that nifty? So now I have stairs going there. I could put a door here. And, whoops. Moo. Okay, I walk up my stairs, I go in my building, and isn't that lovely? Okay. So you'll start to um, see how, especially when you start creating your game, I don't want you necessarily having to build block by block. If you have tools and ways to do things more efficiently, it's great to be able to do that. Okay. So, um, I know that was a lot to kind of grasp, but it's really just as simple as thinking of where do I want to start with my XYZ? Where do I want to end or fill to? And think of it like I'm filling from one corner to another corner, and then it's filling everything in between. So your one corner is going to be down low, and your other corner is going to be up high, and then it's going to fill everything in that rectangle. Okay? Got it? And then the air part is just coming in on every side by one to make sure we keep the walls and then fill the inside or hollow the inside out with air. Okay? Kind of got it? Now go back to your seats. Work with somebody on this. Create your own or, or multiple of these to get the hang of it. And we'll see how you make out.